What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to show you guys the top 4 best July 4th outfits to make using clothing glitches for your male character. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first outfit which will be with the red joggers. And to get the red joggers you will need a friend to help you out and your friend will need to do this. So you're going to have your friend call in his MOC. If he doesn't know how to do that just tell him to pull up his interaction menu. Go to services, go to mobile operation center and he's going to request his MOC. After, he's, after he does that he's going to wait for it to spawn on the map. Mine will spawn right here. But once your friend does find his MOC, he's then just going to head to the back of his MOC and I'll show you guys what your friend needs to do once he is at the back of his mobile operations center. Okay guys, so for the first part of this glitch, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get red joggers. So for the first part, you will need your friend to get an MOC. So after he does get an MOC, tell him to go to the job mission over here. So whenever you guys are here, just go ahead and access the op mobile operation centers. Go ahead and hit login. And you guys will want your friend to start this mission right here. That's called work dispute. So yeah, just go ahead and have your friend start up this work dispute. And I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you guys go ahead and join your friend on the work dispute job, then you guys can just have your friend just go ahead and start the job. So whenever you go ahead and load in, you guys will see that you guys spawn in a plane and you are wearing the red joggers. Now you guys can just go ahead and head to your apartment. So whenever you start your apartment, you guys will need an explosive. So whenever you have an explosive, just go ahead and walk into the blue circle. After you guys walk into the blue circle, then just go ahead and blow yourself up. After you blow yourself up, then you guys are able to just run back into your apartment and then you should be able to enter your apartment just like this. Whenever you get inside your apartment or house, you guys are just going to want to go over here and head to your clothing area. So whenever you guys go ahead and see in the top left hand corner where it says change clothes, just go ahead and hit right on the d-pad and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and change any accessories on the outfit. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the gloves real quick. After you change an accessory on the outfit, then you can just walk out of your closet and then after you guys do that, just go ahead and pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Whenever you go ahead and load back into a session after you guys left the job, you should see that you guys are wearing the outfit with the red joggers. Now that you guys are wearing the outfit, now we're just going to go ahead and create the outfit on the thumbnail, so I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to the clothing store. When you have made it to the clothing store with the red joggers, now I'm going to show you on how to create this outfit. To create this outfit, walk over here to the top section. You're going to first scroll down until you do find t-shirts, which will be on slot 28. And you're going to scroll down to slot 50, which will be the, the Freedom t-shirt, which will be right here on slot 50. So after you do buy the Freedom t-shirt, you can then just go ahead and back out of t-shirts. Scroll down until you do find sweaters, which will be right here on slot 44. And you're going to equip the white sweater on slot 3. After you do equip the white sweater on your character, back out of your top section. We don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the red joggers. But go over here to your accessories. You're going to go to scarves on slot 3 and equip the black desert scarf on slot 2. Once you do have the scarf, back out of scarves. You're then going to go to gloves on slot 7 and look for the black woolen gloves on slot 58. After you have the black woolen gloves and the black desert scarf, that's all for your accessories. Now for the shoes, you're going to go to Arena War Shoes on slot 14 and equip the white and red light ups on slot 45. And once you do have these Arena War Shoes, now we're going to do the logo merge glitch. So I'm going to take off the other accessories that I have on my character and I'll show you guys on how to get that later. But we're going to do the logo merge glitch. So what you need to do is head to your apartment. Once you do make it to your apartment, go into the changing clothes area. Now you're going to scroll down to your tops and scroll down until you do find t-shirts. For me, t-shirts is on slot 28. It might be on a different slot for you, but click on t-shirts and you're going to look for the freedom t-shirt. Whenever you do find the freedom t-shirt, you're going to hover over it. Don't click on it, but whenever you're hovering over the freedom t-shirt, you're going to hit pause and you can join off of one of your friends through the pause menu, or if you don't have a friend online, just go to online, go to cruise, and then you can join one of your crew members, or you can go to suggested crew, friends crews, invitations, or maybe what I normally do is go to leaderboard. I go to the IGN crew, I go to view players, and then I just join somebody off of here because there's somebody always online. But whenever you do join their lobby, you will see that the logo merges over to the white sweater. When you make it into a new lobby, you will see that the logo merges over to the sweater like this. Now we're going to head back to the clothing store so we can get a couple of the head accessories. When you make it back to the clothing store, you're going to walk over here to the hat section, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which will be on slot 19, and you're going to buy the black bulletproof. After you buy the black bulletproof helmet, back out of your hats, head over here to your glasses, then you're going to go to casual glasses, and look for the star spangled shades and i believe these star spangled shades will actually be right here on slot 96 might be on a different slot for you but for me it's on slot 96 
So go ahead and buy and equip the Star Spangled Shades. After you do that, it'll merge with your Bulletproof Helmet. Now for the final hat accessory, it will be over here at the mask store. Whenever you have made it to the mask store, you're gonna walk over here to your mask, scroll down to Ski Mask, Onslaught 21, and you're gonna scroll down until you do find the Stars and Stripes Tight Ski, and it will be right here, Onslaught 60. So once you do have the Stars and Stripes Tight Ski, you will see that your glasses come off. All we're gonna do now is head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch to merge the glasses over with the mask and helmet. After you make it to a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and you're gonna scroll through your glasses until you do find the Star Spangled Shades. You will see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't need to worry. Once you do find the Star Spangled Shades, that will look like this. Just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask, the glasses, and the helmet will merge all together just like this. All you need to do now is for the final accessory, which will be the parachute, you're going to head to a gun store. Now that you're at the gun store, you're going to walk up here to the front counter, you're going to go to parachutes, and then you're going to go to parachute bags, and scroll down until you do find the USA shoe bag on slot 53. After you do buy it and equip the USA shoe bag, back out of the front counter, it'll disappear off your character, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it should be set to the USA shoe bag, just like this. And that will be all for your outfit, so if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go, that will be all. Now you can go up here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. And whenever you have saved it, that will be all. So I hope you guys do like this Red Joggers glitched outfit. Now, let's we'll move on to the second July 4th outfit. This will be the second glitched July 4th outfit. When you have made it back to the clothing store, walk over here to the top section once again, scroll down to office shirts on slot 57, and you're gonna equip the black office unbuttoned on slot 17. It may be the black office buttoned, depending if you had a tie on it or not. But after you do equip the black office unbuttoned, you can then just back out of office shirts, scroll up to the top until you do find suit jackets. Suit jackets will be on slot four and you're gonna equip the blue tail coat on slot 41. When you do have the, the blue tail coat and the black office unbuttoned, you can then back out of the top section, head over here to your pants, click on jeans on slot one and equip the midnight camo fitted on slot 67. Once you do have the midnight camo fitted jeans, back out of the pants, walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, on slot seven, and you're gonna look for the black woolen gloves on slot 58. After you do equip the black woolen gloves, back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to sports shoes on slot nine, and look for the blue athletic shoes on slot 44. After you do equip these sports shoes, you can then just back out. Now for the, hel for the helmet, you're gonna go to your hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19, and equip the black bulletproof. When you have the black bulletproof helmet, walk over here to your glasses, go to casual glasses, and you're gonna buy and equip the Star Spangled Shades on slot 96. When you have the Star Spangled Shades, you'll see that it merges with the bulletproof helmet. Now for the mask, all we're gonna do now is head over here to the mask door. Whenever you have made it to the mask door, just walk over here to your mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 21, and you're gonna buy the black tight ski on slot 114. You will see that your mask and helmet merge together. Now we're gonna do the telescope glitch so then we can merge the glasses over with the mask and helmet. After you do find a telescope on the pier, you're just gonna do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and then you're gonna scroll through your glasses until you do find the star spangled shades. Your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. Once you do find these star spangled shades, you can then just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask, the glasses, and the helmet merge all together. Now for the final accessory, which will be the parachute, all we're gonna do now is just head to a gun store. After you have made it to the gun store, walk up here to the front counter, and then you're gonna go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then you're gonna look for the USA shoe bag on slot 53. After you do buy the USA shoe bag, you can then just back out of the front counter, it will disappear off your character, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, send it to on, and have it set to the USA shoe bag, just like this. Now, what we're gonna do is get the flight tube on this outfit, so what you wanna do is head over here to this clothing store, right next to the strip club, 
and I will get back to you when I have made it to the clothing store. Whenever you have made it to this clothing store, just in case you guys didn't save your outfit earlier, what you're going to do is go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you're going to save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down to flight suits on slot nine, and you're going to equip the black flight suit on slot two. After you do equip the black flight suit back onto the front counter, and now we're going to just go over here across the street to the strip club. When you make it to the strip club, you're just going to run inside just like this. Now pull up your interaction menu. You will see that the flight tube disappears. That's what you want. So pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and you're going to equip the outfit you just saved at the clothing store, which will look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk outside of the strip club, and then you will see that the flight tube merges over with your outfit. All you need to do now is just run back over to the clothing store to save your outfit. And just like that, it was that easy. So after you have saved your outfit, that will be all. So just in case you guys are wondering if you are wearing some other outfit and then you try to re-equip this outfit, you'll see that the flight tube is not here. So that means you have to click on the saved outfit twice and then it will appear like this. So you saw I had the outfit on and then whenever I clicked on the outfit again, the flight tube appears. And so, yeah, that will be all. Now, let's just move on to the 4th, July 4th glitched outfit. Okay, guys, now for the 3rd, July 4th, what you want to do is head over here to this location on the map at this UL paper mission. Whenever you do get here, what you want to do is go inside this yellow circle, and you're going to press right on the D-pad to enter. Once you load into here, you don't need to change anything, just confirm your settings, and then you can launch the job on your own. When you do launch the job on your own, it's going to show you the outfits with the IAA badge. It doesn't matter which one because all of them have the badge. So just select an outfit and then you can hit ready to play. After you've loaded into the job, you will see that you're wearing the outfit with the IAA badge. All you need to do now is pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, scroll down to illuminating clothing, and you're going to scroll through your illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds. After you have scrolled through your illuminating clothing for 30 seconds, what you want to do now is just go to your Xbox or PlayStation Home and you're going to sit here for like 2-3 to three minutes until it kicks you out of the job. When you have waited about 2-3 to three minutes, you can then just load back into GTA, it'll get kicked, and then you can just hit continue. Whenever you have loaded back into an online or an invite only session, you will see that you are wearing the outfit with the IAA badge. Now, you're going to head to a clothing store, it doesn't matter which one. But after you do get to a clothing store, go over here to the top section, scroll down until you do find t-shirts, which will be on slot 28, and you're going to scroll down to slot 47, which will be the Since 1776 t-shirt right here. So after you do equip 1776 t-shirt 47, back out of the tops, go over here to the, go over here to your pants, click on suit pants on slot 6, and you're going to look for the black slim fit suit pants with the white stripe so it's going to be called the white stripe slim fit on slot 31. when you do equip these suit pants you can then just back out go to your accessories you're going to go to watches which will be on slot six just to take off this watch so go to slot one which will be no watch and then you can back out of watches go to gloves on slot seven and equip the white cotton gloves on slot 53. when you have the white cotton gloves equipped on your character that's all for your accessories Head over here to your shoes. You're gonna go to skate shoes on slot three and equip the two-tone skate shoes on slot 17. Once you do have these skate shoes, you can then just back into the shoe section. Now, if your character does have an earpiece, you can take those off. So to do that, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories and on gear, you're gonna scroll one time to the right and then you can scroll one time to the left to none. Now you shouldn't have an earpiece. All we're gonna do now is save the outfit. So to do this, go up here to the front counter when your outfit looks just like mine, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, we're now going to go ahead and get the hat for this. So go over here to the hat section, scroll down to special hats, which will be up here on slot 17. And you're going to equip the patriotic beanie on slot 15. Once you do have this beanie back out of the hat section, now we're going to head over here to the mask door for the mask on this outfit. Now, once you have made it to the mask store, walk over here to your mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 21, 
and you're gonna look for the charcoal toggle ski, which will be on slot 94. After you do equip the charcoal toggle ski, you can then just back out of the mask. Now there's a reason we did save the outfit because we're now gonna be merging the beanie over with the mask. And if you guys just try to do the normal telescope glitch, the badge will come off. So I'm gonna show you guys on how to merge it all together. What you're gonna do now is head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. After you've made it to the pier and you find a telescope, do the telescope glitch, so run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and you're gonna scroll through your hats until you do find the patriotic beanie. When you find the patriotic beanie, you will see that the mask and the IAA badge do come off. So what you wanna do is now put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and the hat merge together or the beanie and the mask merge together and the badge does stay off your character. Now we're gonna get the badge back on our character. So just do the telescope glitch again, run by the telescope, press right on the D-pad, your character will run in place, then look towards the telescope, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and then just re-equip the outfit we saved earlier with the badge. Your mask and your beanie will come off, so just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the, the mask, the beanie, and the badge do merge all together just like this. And that will be all for your outfit. So if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. That will be all. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save it on whichever slot you want, and that will be all. Now let's just move on to the fourth and final July 4th outfit. For this fourth and final outfit, I'm gonna show you on how to make the tan joggers outfit. What you wanna do is head over here to this exact clothing store with this stunt race. Whenever you have made it to this clothing store, what you wanna do is if the job is not here, pull up your interaction menu, go to map blimp options on slot eight, go ahead and click on jobs on slot three, go to stun races, on slot 14 and if it does say hide like this you'll see that it's not here just press right on the d-pad once to set it to show and it'll be right here in front of the clothing store once the job is here you can then just back out of hide jobs back out of matte blimp options now you're going to scroll up to register as a boss and you're going to register as a secure serve and start an organization after you do that pull up your interaction menu up again click on secure serve ceo go to management go to style and on your CEO style, you're gonna scroll through your style until you find the Warlord outfit, which will look like this. Now put away your interaction menu. You can now walk into the blue circle and press right on the D-pad to enter. After you do load into the job, you don't need to change anything in the settings. You can then just confirm the settings and then just launch the job on your own. After you launch the job on your own, it's gonna bring you in here where it shows your motorcycles or just random motorcycles. Scroll through the motorcycles for at least a few seconds. When you have scrolled through the motorcycles for a few seconds, you can then just quit the job. After you quit the job, you will see that you have the outfit you had on before the Warlord outfit, which is exactly what you want. So after you load back into a session, run inside the clothing store as fast as you can. You can go up to the front counter or go over here to the top section, press right on the D-pad, and you're going to sit here in the clothing until it kicks you out. So you're going to have to sit in here for maybe 5 to 10 seconds until it kicks you out. And then you should see that you're wearing the Warlord outfit just like this. When you are wearing the outfit, you can now pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO, and hit Retire. When you do hit Retire, you will see that you are still wearing the Warlord outfit with the tan joggers. Now, I'm gonna show you on how to create the outfit in the thumbnail. Now, to create this outfit, make sure you are wearing the tan joggers Warlord outfit, and then you're gonna go up here to the top section, scroll down until you find t-shirts, which will be up here on slot 28, and you're gonna equip the American flag t-shirt on slot 77. After you do equip the American flag t-shirt, back up to the top section. We don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the tan joggers, but go over here to your accessories, go to scarves on slot three, and equip the tan desert scarf on slot four. When you have the scarf, that's all for your accessories. So back out, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to sport shoes on slot nine, and equip the blue athletic sport shoes, which will be on slot 44. And now after you do have the blue athletic sport shoes, back out of your shoes, now, before we do go into the hats, what you want to do is equip the rebreather on your character. And to do this, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and on gear, if it is set to none, just press right on the D-pad once, and then you'll have the rebreather on your character. If you don't have the rebreather, what you want to do is just go to a gun store, go to the middle counter where it does say gear, and then it's going to show you the, the earpieces, the night vision goggles, and then Adam, it's going to be the rebreather. Go ahead and equip the rebreather on your character, and then you can head back to the clothing store. Scroll down to special top, which will be on slot eight, which will be on slot 17, 
and you're gonna equip the USA bucket hat on slot 19, which will be all the way at the bottom, maybe on a different slot for you. But after you do find the USA bucket hat and you equip it on your character, you should see that the rebreather and the hat merge together just like this. And that will be all for your outfit. So if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. That will be all. So I hope you guys do like this outfit. Now go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, that will be all in you. So I hope you guys did enjoy these four glitched outfits for your male character. I hope you guys are going to have a good 4th of July. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.